I want to just ask, it's a difficult topic, this doping thing. I don't want to elaborate on this. I just wanted to ask you how it came that you take this step to involve yourself into these discourses, which is a real, uh, almost a jungle of discourses. Um, what is motivating you and how can one um, influence this sometimes rather, rather dirty discourses? Well, naive innocence maybe. <laughs> Initially, I was absolutely not expecting um, that what eventually came over me when I, for the first time, came out with uh, with those uh, with those ideas. It was a, a quite uh, quite a shock to me because what happened was that part of the sports establishment in Switzerland really had a hard time with me and used all kinds of um, of actually not uh, appropriate or honest or or, or clear ways to deal with it. It, it was it was very um, very emotional. It had nothing to do with with um, thinking about facts and things like that. It, it was uh, I dared to touch upon something that apparently was very hurtful, and and therefore I was uh, I was accused of blasphemy, and I had to be kicked out of, of it. it. That was the first reaction. But the reason that I got into that is the following, that I was, I was confronted in the, lead, in, in the years leading up to WADA, to the development of the first version of the whereabouts rules. And that really got me mm -hmm. thinking. Mm -hmm. It was just a realization that suddenly society decided to make an exception for one subgroup and, and design rules that elsewhere in society had actually been actively um, combated and taking and and, 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 place. and and if you would have tried to reintroduce Jerusalem, it would have, uh, of course, led to a big uproar. And I said, why is that? Why is it so incredibly important? Important that we that we want to make such uh, an exception. And then I I got into touch with a bioethicist, Alexander Moron, uh, um, here at the University of Geneva, and also with a, um, a philosopher uh, from, from uh, Scotland, uh, Andy Mia, and uh, started uh, um, corresponding with them, and then said, hey guys, let's, let's write something on this. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, I'm, I'm, I want to understand this a little bit further, further. And so then we started to probe what the basis was for, for anti-doping and discovered a whole field where things were much less black and white as, um, as would initially appear. And then, um, uh, uh, of course, the big uproar happened and uh, then things calmed down. And now I continue working in this field. I mean, I've been publishing uh, several papers now and several chapters. And there's again a chapter that will be published just prior to the Olympics on this topic and it's interesting because we get now finally uh, um, a pretty good return upon our thinking and actually not only of academics even within the sports field people are now starting to come and say yeah indeed part of your reasoning sounds right we don't know exactly what to do with it but yes anti-doping is very problematic it is not as simplistic and simple as as we had hoped it, it, it would be